Hello and welcome back. Yes, so uh, last time we left things with uh, a bit abruptly and we had uh, we had this information down here which is ready to display. So uh, categories here in the order of their popularity. So all we need to do now is to list them here. So that's the first thing we're going to do is get this part here and list those uh, these guys here. Now it's important to remember that uh, this data we are receiving here is an array and the keys of each one of these categories is right there. So there's a category and then there's uh, its content here. So same thing here, the category is the key and then there are several objects inside it. So all we need to do is get the keys of these of this array and then we'll have the list of uh, of items to add here. So let's go to our code here and we're going to go inside views eShop and of course this is the index.php view. So we have this code here that shows the segment data. So we're going to say show segment data, is it? Now what I'm looking for here is where those items are actually listed. So let's try and find that. Now, it's okay to just look for specific text like kids or polo shirt. So maybe that would be better to find. All right, so right here, I was actually looking at it and couldn't see it. So this is the list right here. So as you can see, all these guys are listed here. These are the t-shirt, there's the data toggle tabs. So the important thing to keep in mind here or to look for is the similarities and differences between these guys. So if you look closely here, the very first item has a class of active. This is why when we load the page, it's the one that's active here. If we do change this class and move it to a, one of these others here, let's say blazers, and I refresh the page, you see that once I refresh, it starts with blazers. Okay, great. But if you notice very well, even though it starts with blazer, it doesn't actually display the blazers information. So if I click here and click back here, you see that this information is different from what we get when we refresh, like so. So which means just setting this class here does not display the correct information. So that must be here, done here, when somebody clicks on this item. So this is the href here, it says blazers. So let me get one that is very unique, like sunglass. So what I want to do is find out the connection between this and the actual sunglass tab. So once I select that, uh, it will show me when I do get to it. So let's keep scrolling down and there we go. So it means all we have to do is make the ID here similar to one of the links there. Okay, so easy peasy, I think we can manage to do that. So it's also a good uh, a good thing that uh, the keys here come in cleaned already. For example, the one which had an apostrophe. That way they can work well as uh, links without spaces. Okay, so without further ado, I can see that this is all we need to do. Just supply a valid you are uh, href and then just make sure the first one has a class of active. So what I will do is I will delete everything else here. I'll delete all these boys. Sorry boys, you are out. And then all I need to do now is to loop through this one here. So I will say in fact, let's put a uh, category tab here. Let's put something to not display this if we don't have the correct info. Now, where is the closing part here? It's right here, end category tab. So here I'll put some PHP tags 
and just say and if because I am going to put an if statement like so okay so we get that and if and then let's go up now to category tab let me just use that search to find it quickly there we go and I will remove this for now let me just mute it we may need it so PHP here I'm going to say uh, if is just to cover all our bases I'm just going to say if is set and then I'll put an and actually I need an if statement here it's not there but let me just put the and here and copy this paste it here change this to is underscore array let me zoom in a little bit more and then here I will put brackets and put an if statement if so if is set and all that put a full column there do not forget that okay so that works well with the if statement down there so if everything works well then good so what we will do now let me copy this come down here and loop through this nav bar so I will say PHP for each eh, that's good enough so let's say uh, segment as segment data so I will just remove this as seg like that just to shortcut it and then push this inward put a closing if statement and if alrighty then so we are looping through here and what I want now is to copy this let's see what we are dealing with here so every time we loop we go through one of these items with a key so this is an array with its key so which means we do need a key here so I'm just going to say as a key seg so we don't really need the data we just need the key so I will put my key here because it's just the key that we are using let me use the equal notation close that so the same way I've put key here I'm going to put key there simple and straightforward so I will refresh the page oh so syntax error and if on line uh, 33 33 unexpected oh sorry it's supposed to be end for each like so okay good catch there alrighty then so now you can see that we have drinks shirts food meat other categories which uh, corresponds to what we actually have there which is good but everything is active and that's not what we want so we only want active to be there when it's the first item so we can uh, what can we do here so what I can do is right here I can declare a variable now I can use some PHP tags here but I don't know I, I just I'm just uh, lazy here so I'm just going to say num is equal to zero like so I'll just add it to this and then here I will just say num plus plus like that so number here all we need to do is check if number is uh, actually maybe let me put some PHP tags because uh, you never know here now let me leave it like this for now so what I want to do here is put some PHP tags and just ask the question uh, e let's see num greater if it's greater than one just that let's put a question mark and then single quotes here like so full colon empty quotes semicolon close put a space there just just leave some space okay so let me put some brackets here just to make it easier to see what's going on so PHP tags 
actually what I want is an echo here so I will put that equal statement like so mm -hmm. so let's echo this if we are greater than one or echo nothing if uh... oh wait a minute wait a minute it shouldn't be greater than one it should just be equal to one that's the only time okay so refresh and there we go we have drinks here pretty cool shirt meat but of course if we click on these guys we don't get anything because they don't link to anything that actually exists pretty good but at least we have something workable here so in the next video let's see how we can switch these items up i'll see you then